Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to The Foundry. I'm JB here with Sly, and today we are reviewing the final episode of Marvel's Secret Invasion. Welcome to episode six, boys. It's finally done, Sly. Finally done. Home. At Home. least it was before the scrolls fucked everything up. So Nick Fury lied and never did anything about it. Also, for real, it they got a point though to be hating on Nick Fury. He he kind of fucking like gave an entire race of people like back burner status and he's like and he just like kind of stopped looking and he's known yeah, he, like he captain marvel for like 40 years and she's just like not out there looking for a home or anything like that and i don't know if you've seen the comment section on any of our reviews but people have been leaving like loads and loads of examples for people for them to call home and like a different like just planet for them to live at and shit which is kind of funny uh, but, uh, yeah, we are on the final episode, Home. Um, so, this episode, we had a gigantic CGI boss fight. Um, <laughs> which did. was pretty cool, because I like seeing, like, all the different powers and stuff like that between yeah. our Super Scroll. But at the same time, I was like, man, like, they're just going all over the place just to say they can go all over the place. And then, um, it was It was pretty satisfying, though, that, like, big reveal. Yeah, I was, I was really irked as well because when samuel jackson's in chernobyl and he's like coughing he's like oh, 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 like he's like got something in his lungs i'm like do you people know how radiation works like do, do you not understand like it's it's just organ failure in general like he's not coughing up radiation you know but like i'm glad that it wasn't actually him because i was gonna to be fair like I, I know if you were in like a densely like irradiated zone mm -hmm. technically speaking you'd probably like start vomiting Maybe you'd shit profusely. Yeah, I mean, like, it's... It would take effect, but he's just, like... He was just coughing up air, and I'm like, what are you coughing up, dude? It makes it look up, like dude? he's just walking through, like, a smoky little area. Yeah, and it's like, like <laughs> what's he fighting? He's like, oh, man, it's so thick, you know? Like, are, are you saying that, like, people aren't smart enough to know what radiation is, so you have to, like... <laughs> like exaggerate the effects of it like on screen so people can understand that it's it's not easy or something like it's just kind of frustrating it's kind, it's really frustrating actually but i'm glad that was all like fucking it was all a ruse you know which is actually pretty smart which i was happy about i was like that was dope as fuck that was good yeah that was a, it was a hell of a payoff seeing that like that moment of like realization and like honestly you could see the fear in gravik's eyes when he's yeah. like about to start whooping on him uh -huh. And then he's like, "Wait, what? You what? you you caught my hand?" What'd you think of uh, Gravik? Uh, their little green goblin kind of get up, like them looking all jacked and shit. What'd you think about it? Um, their final form. I liked it. Uh, let me put it this way: I don't have anything to complain about in terms of his design. Um, his it's one of those things like I'm, I'm hopeful about it this makes me excited for like the Fantastic Four movie like when they come out with the thing because I'm yeah, wondering I'm like you know, how is the effects gonna look because you have to make him look different than Korg you, you know? know what he kind of looks like he kind of hmm. looks like the final boss from uh, Callisto Protocol um, which is oh my god he totally you, does if you uh, see it uh, did you finish that game no, but I yeah I know exactly what you're talking about. He, <laughs> he does looks like just point the ears a little bit. It's exactly him. Yeah, that just I just Jesus. thought about that. That's so funny. Yeah, but we saw we saw uh, Gaia. She was uh, she became a super scroll as well, right? I guess I don't know like yeah technically yeah she one. did yeah. So she had like a bunch of powers. I don't I wonder how all that works. As hell, you know? Yeah. I uh, like if she can use like 100% of all powers at once or, or like what or she can just do bits and pieces or something or I'm just curious yeah. how that works and I'm sure they won't ever go into any detail with it ever. I, I wonder when the next time we'll actually see her like on in a live action format. I, I know yeah you, you have to be careful pulling a character like that because this is now a character that's extremely overpowered. Yeah. You throw her in any project, and she can technically settle the debate. Yeah, immediately. Yeah, it, it, you got to be careful. People need weaknesses and vulnerabilities and shit like that, and relatability and shit. And yeah, and that kind of ties back into the whole graphic thing, like graphics demise. I mean, does it feel a little un underwhelming to you? Very. Yeah, I, that was my only gripe about the fight, like the whole action sequence. I was like, shouldn't he be able to survive this? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was like, man, <laughs> shouldn't he? Like, I was like he, the guy's like a god. Yeah, 
at the same time, like, he, he should have all of the same strengths and weaknesses that she has. So, like, what exactly. the fuck? Not to diss on her, but he's been yeah. around a lot longer than she has, and he should be battle-hardened and... That's the other no thing. Offense Familiarity to her. with the abilities. Yeah. Yeah, and she's had it for he's had it for a little bit longer or something. I'd say he's hundred percent more ruthless as well. But um yeah, it's kinda see it's kinda weird to see her win, but yeah, I guess not to really poke too well, many holes into it. I feel like there's just a lot of things happening in this episode just for the convenience, just because they wrote it that way with the plot. I don't feel like a lot of characters and themes were consistent with this episode that we saw in previous episodes. Um the finale was still really good. I enjoyed the show as a whole, but I definitely think this episode was a lot more weaker. It underperformed. This yeah. was definitely one of the weaker episodes of the season. I saw a lot more of Priscilla than I needed to see, too. I feel like yep. uh, that kind of story arc fell flat, you know? Um, and what, I just don't the... really care enough. Yeah, I don't. It's like, oh, Nick Fury's going to go back to Space Station. I'm like... I literally saw that in, a, in an after credit. That means fucking yep. jack shit to me. Like, I don't give <laughs> a fuck, dude. Like, I saw that barely in an after credit. And it's like, it was a joke because cause, uh, Ben Mendelsohn Talos was, like, pretending to be him, you know? I'm like, that's fucking hilarious. But then it's like, it was a joke, like, him being on space, like, on vacation. That's how it started, yeah. you know? That's like that's that's kind of funny how they treat like their race like being refugees or they make a joke out of it like ah oh, it's after credit yeah joke, he's right? over there up there like <laughs> acting like he's in the Bahamas and yeah, he, yeah yeah he's on yeah he's fucking sipping on some uh, like coconuts and shit like that no but um yeah we had a nifty little list of uh, I guess all the powers that uh, Gaia and Gravik had from being Super Scroll all the way from like uh, from Captain Marvel to Hulk. Fucking Ghost, Gru, Ebony Maw, Korg. Got some villains, yeah. You got Thanos, you got Korg. Yeah, it's, it's a mixed bag. Yeah, it, it's a lot. Uh, it's kind of interesting to have the Winter Soldier and Captain America, apparently, because they both have the same thing going on, I guess. So it's just like, it's a super soldier type of shit. It makes me wonder, like, would they technically have, like, his, his robot arm? Like, <laughs> That'd be really funny. I mean, like... If you like, oh, we collected their DNA, but like, why do you need their DNA? Like, you have Thanos. Yeah, like, are you telling me that exactly. Captain America is better than Thanos in a way, or something? Like, what is? I don't know. Why do you need more than like? The, I don't know. It just seems fucking kind of mucky yeah. a little bit. It, it does feel mucky. Like uh, that's what I was saying. Like, unless there's like a hidden thing where like kind of how they have to like put them in those little chambers to like assimilate their memories. It should have been the same thing. Like with that DNA. They have access to the entire like personalities, habits, memories of the Avengers and villains. That would give me a better excuse to having, you know, duplicate characters that have too you know, much in common. What would make that like that scene ten like a thousand times better? It would be so fucking expensive. But as they're switching powers, they switch between like different like faces like they switched to like captain america i was switching to steve rogers thing. and Switch like actor completely yeah like how cool would that be because like you'd see the full-fledged like ability of the scroll like that yeah. that'd be really fucking cool i'd love that yeah that'd and be you really finally cool get the showdowns you wanted you know between certain characters yeah. yeah it's just like just josh brolin like as thanos just pops in randomly you know, talking shit you know like that would be that would be really cool and then it's just like turns into hulk v hulk you know like, that would be really... That would be too much, you know? But I think that would be really interesting. Just, oh, uh, you know what? I think what? we finally answered our question. How is Gaia going to appear in future MCU projects? 10 will get you 20. She will pop up like that. They oh, yeah, as a, as a fake out? To be something, should, yeah, it'll be a fake out of someone big. Except it's not really a fake out because she's literally capable of replicating the ability now. Exactly, yeah. If she wants to look like Captain Marvel and fight like captain marvel she can if yeah. she wants to be like the hulk she can that's kind of scary yeah it's just like it's you you can't trust anybody about it yeah like see that honestly this is going to sound really weird because i don't mean to bash on the show that's what should have set up for like the actual secret invasion yeah I that would have been great that would have been extremely high stakes not the world ending it's not high enough stake for you is that no, no, no. um the frost beast kind of didn't make any sense for me it's like what secret <laughs> what like like oh here yeah we get to be a big fucking frost giant dog hell yeah 
big old pug. Um, yeah, but that ending fight was really fucking dope with them just being throwing each other around in Chernobyl. You know, I thought that was fucking insanely cool. Not a care in the world for all the civilian scrolls that they had locked away or anything like that. For real. That was funny. Those off-camera scrolls, yeah. I gotta say, I was really uh, impressed with Gaia's use of a couple abilities. Uh, my two favorite abilities that were showcased were not, like, brute strength abilities. I loved her use of ghost powers, like mm -hmm. that whole, like, phasing out. You, you And then also Mantis's ability. Oh, yeah. Well, I thought that, that was, was kind of weird. Yeah, good job on fucking remembering the Mantis thing. How she just said, like, sleep. Like, how yeah. would anyone on Earth know to do that, though? Exactly. I think that's insane, unless there's some kind of transmission of memory there with being a scroll. Bingo, that's like why I'm how... wondering. I'm like, you would have it's lazy to... plot writing. I'm thinking or lazy. it's that. Yeah, honestly, I think it's lazy. Yeah. But, I don't know. But, yeah, I think that's very weird, because there's no way that she would know that. Like, just be, like, sleep. Like, oh, I can replicate, like... My, or There's I no can, user manual for just, any of yeah, these exactly, powers. Yeah, exactly. Which is like, really truth weird. be told, everything should be awkward. That's why, like, the first few episodes where you see Gravik using abilities, it feels believable because it's limited. Mm -hmm. You know, like, he uh, like, doesn't realize the full scope of his power. Like, he's almost like when he gets his hand stabbed, he almost yeah. looks intimidated by his ability to heal and regenerate so fast. But at the same time, he like, you you can see like the fucking darkness in his eyes too because he's like oh shit he realizes like that he's onto something a lot bigger too you know it's a yeah it's a transfer you know it's a transformation and with Gravik which I really appreciate it was really great and we didn't get to see any of uh, her dealing with any of those abilities or anything like that no. nope um I think the whole anything that like had the president in it uh this episode I was not a big fan of it. No, I no. felt like it was super forced and a little lazy too, and I was just like, it was just like fucking Rhodes, um, just like panicking a whole lot, and it was this gun out and shit, and it's like this guy is not acting as like a government official like at all, like that and another complaint. The it feels like the entire budget went into that big CGI fight, and none of it went to like Nick Fury like sneaking around the hallways of the hospital. <laughs> Didn't give a it fuck. It just felt so low budget with him just like putting people to sleep and I was like, dude, like they could have done a better job of this. This just looked like Hollywood cliche, like off camera. He's called He's Big Boss, work. you know, for this shit. Exactly, yeah. You need to be carrying around the little uh, cardboard box to hide in and shit. Yeah, come on, dude. Yeah, then, the times, Nick. They just at the very end of the movie, they're just just the president's like, "Oh yeah, the scrolls are bad, and we're gonna kill them all." It's like, sweet, we haven't learned a fucking thing. Like, For that's, real, dude, that's that great. ending is crazy. Where like people just start like killing uh, people that they think are scrolls, mm -hmm. like and how sometimes they're, they're right. And yeah. then like that one where they, like they kill the what I think it's like a congresswoman, mm -hmm. and they like blow out her brains, and she just bleeds red, and it's like, oh shit. Yeah, she doesn't turn into a fucking a scroll. Yeah, it's, it's it's dark. Yeah, it's it's super fucking dark, but it's like an actual literal like witch hunt of like the communist witch hunt, but like just people taking guns to the street and shit. And it's just like, how is this not a problem? You know? I I uh yeah, I didn't really care for Nick leaving at the very end with Priscilla and shit, and they're like, final little Setting talk. Setting up for the Marvels. Yeah. Too. Uh, is that what that was? Set up for the Marvels. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You already know. I do not give a fuck about Captain Marvel and Nick Fury's relationship at all. Ditto. Do not. Do we not hear care. so much about it, but we've seen none of it other than that one movie. Yeah. So it, it's just too weak. It's too weak. I agree. I agree. As as well as I'm saying, like we, I I enjoyed it. You know, I thought it was I thought it was a fun episode, and it was a great series overall. I really like it. I just felt like that uh, that episode was pretty fucking weak in comparison to the rest of the season. It, it almost feels like it was completely separate. Like whoever directed the first five was like, I'm gonna go ahead and like step aside and hand this off to my friend to finish through for me. Yeah, <laughs> that's kind of what it felt like. It was like I don't mean to bash the episode. And slow season yeah. and and just that last like the episode was the finale all. didn't match the rest of the season yeah no not at all not at all but you know what that's that's okay like I, I i got what i wanted from it and i i hope they did too i know a lot of people were not a fan of it they're like this was a no. wasted fucking opportunity you know and 
I tell you the truth, like, I don't know what they could have done out of it. I mean, like, we just came up with a fucking fire idea just, like, on the fly like that, you know? But it feels like uh, scrolls were barely touched on upon, you know? So I could I can understand like, how a lot of people would not be even be into this show. And apparently they wasted a fuck ton of the budget as well for this show, too. I was reading online. All these Disney Plus shows, dude, the budget that gets poured to them is obscene. Yeah. Um, I even saw a lot of people like kind of kind of shitting on the uh, the the big old fight in episode four. I was like, that was pretty fire, man. That was pretty good. No, yeah, no, I didn't really have too many complaints. Yeah. No, I just kind of maybe I just kind of took it for how it was and was a fan, you know, for a minute. Yeah, hmm. but I I liked it. It was pretty good. It was it was cool seeing Martin Freeman actually in the uh, episode like towards the end and Don Cheadle, um, how they get out of their uh what is it the uh little pods you know yeah and that was pretty good interesting i saw comments how oh you know what? what i just thought about with martin freeman being showcased as a scroll doesn't that negate what we saw in um shit in black panther 2 meaning what exactly do you think did you watch black panther 2 no Okay. Um, spoiler? Go for it. Martin Freeman gets arrested. Oh, shit. Yeah, he gets imprisoned by the U.S. government. So, does that mean that there's a scroll that's now in prison? Do you remember does that, that mean... Remember that scroll at the beginning of season one was Martin Freeman died? Yeah. Yeah. That scroll died, but though. The... He did, exactly. Yeah. So I'm like, this doesn't make sense then, because, like, the, the only way that this that plot hole makes sense is after he got kidnapped by the government, that's when he got assimilated. That's why I think there's, like, not enough timelines explaining when people were where and for how long. Like, I, I'm willing to bet Rhodey. Rhodey's there for a while, apparently. How much do you want to bet he doesn't even know that Tony's dead? That's what I, another comment I was going to say. That I'm like, that's, that's in incredible to fucking think about with that yeah and that's gonna play a big part i think in, in what is it Sec secret wars armor wars so yeah something like that yeah Arm yeah some, some some shit he's gonna have his own show of course yeah because why not yeah i i would like that yeah 100 percent. i think that'd be fucking yeah. great um i i like don Cheadle on this he was really good too to where it was like he wasn't playing the same war machine as we know you know which you know, you know, but I, I really like that though. Like he felt like a completely different character. And it's like, it's not, oh, like that's not the real Rhodey. I'm like, yeah, you're goddamn right. It's not, you know, <laughs> like I like that. But it's it was like, a different uh, side to him that was like, wow, this is, this is new. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of like, uh, one of my favorite movies ever is, uh, is John Travolta and face off, you know, you know, oh. he, how he deep down is caster Troy, you know, but with the face of John Travolta, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of like a face off, you know, of, of that, if you if you of understand course, what I'm talking about, a hit. That's oh, a great analogy. No, I, I totally see where you're coming from. Yeah, uh, great movie. Uh, we'll have a review on the Foundry shortly. Check it out, guys. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is an episode. I give it a fucking. I give it a seven, I guess. I'm kind of like bland. I feel bland about it. I there's really um, crappy yeah. finales kind of irk me. I'm gonna have to give it a six. Uh, it, it, it did bum me out a bit. Yeah. yeah. It, I had, I think I had more negative to say than positive on this one. For sure. <laughs> I still left pretty happy because I watched five and six back to back as well. So I had, oh, yeah. I was still feeding off that high a little bit, I think. So I think that really affected it for sure. Um, I think five, like it, it had enough steam to help you get through six. Oh yeah, so, like, man. Despite six being lackluster, lackluster it was kind of like, hey, you know what? Like I, I could see where they were headed. They just didn't have the steam. Dude, think of five. The end, the ending episode of season five, is is motherfucking Nick Fury putting that eye patch back on, getting geared up, long trench coat. You know, he's fucking getting back into his shit. You know, back old Shield days, and he's doing some badass shit. And you figure out, oh, it wasn't even Nick Fury. And like, cool. <laughs> like, that's that's great. Like, last final moments to remember Nick Fury by doing some badass heroic shit. Not even him. Nope. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of lame. You know, but, well, I so know. I guess we'll meet in the middle for it. Yeah, yeah, we'll meet in the middle for it. Six and a half. Cool. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, thanks everyone for tuning in on the uh, Secret Invasion review series. Uh, do us a little special solid and give us uh, your favorite uh, power that the Super Scroll was used in or that was on the list there. I was just curious if anyone had a favorite because I think uh, it's pretty interesting. I, if I had to choose one, I think the uh, little Magnesis little powers that you said that was probably belonged to Ebony Maw. Yeah. Yeah. That's what. That's probably my favorite. I thought that was really cool. It kind of shocked the shit out of me. Is yours gonna be ghost? Pretty handy one. Yeah, mine. Mine's ghost. I, only reason why it's ghost is because like you know, not enough people focus on like uh, abilities that help you get out of sticky situations, and her ability is absolutely that. I mean, the woman can phase through quite literally everything. Yeah. And that that is handy as shit. That is. Yeah. Mm. I'd say what like ninety percent of the powers were just big old strength. Right. Yeah, they're just all brawn or like energy beam, and it's like, okay, we've seen this like a thousand times. G give me something different. All right, well, yeah, if you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like, you know, spread some love, uh, send some links out to people, you know, support the foundry. Uh, we got a lot of stuff going on, other review series, really acts, of course, and a lot of gameplay series is going on too. But uh, we shall see you guys later on the next review series, probably Ahsoka fairly soon, right? Yeah. Awesome. Coming up. Yeah, we'll see you guys later. Bye.